Well, this week has been filled with major headlines in the U.S. and around the world. When America's Janesha Gagas takes us through the top stories in our Week in Review. The week kicks off in New York, where President Trump honors the nation's troops on Veterans Day. Today we come together as one nation to salute the veterans of the United States Armed Forces, the greatest warriors to ever walk the face of the earth. And later in Arlington, Virginia. 100 years ago on this day, America first celebrated Armistice Day. Vice President Mike Pence lays a wreath at the tomb of an unknown soldier. And in Alaska, tens of thousands of residents sign a petition to recall Governor Mike Dunleavy over misusing and vetoing state funds. Tuesday at the nation's highest court. Justices begin hearing arguments over President Trump's effort to repeal DACA. And in the Cotton State. We begin in Alabama, where the first African-American mayor of Montgomery is sworn into office. Also, former President Jimmy Carter is recovering from surgery to relieve pressure in his brain caused by bleeding from a recent fall. Midweek. The first public impeachment hearings are underway on Capitol Hill as veteran diplomats George Kent and William Taylor appear for a joint testimony before the House Intel Committee. I am not here to take one side or the other or to advocate for any particular outcome of these proceedings. My sole purpose is to provide facts as I know them. And Nike is no longer selling its products directly on Amazon over reports the e-commerce giant sold counterfeit merchandise. Thursday, a fatal school shooting in the Golden State. We are following some developing news right now out of Southern California where authorities are responding to an active shooter situation at a high school just north of Los Angeles. The gunman opened fire at Salgas High School in Santa Clarita this morning. And in Massachusetts. I am today announcing my candidacy. Former Governor Deval Patrick throws his hat in the crowded 2020 presidential ring. Also, President Trump delivers remarks in Louisiana for another Keep America Great Again rally. Finally, on Friday, impeachment probe hearings continue on Capitol Hill as U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Maria Yovanovitch testifies publicly. Do you have any information regarding the President of the United States accepting any bribes? No. And we are following breaking news coming into our newsroom where Roger Stone has been found guilty on all counts. Those counts include lying to Congress, witness tampering, and obstructing a House probe. And finally... First, we are finalizing the rule that will compel hospitals to publish prices publicly online for everyone to see and to compare. President Trump delivers on his promise to make health care prices more transparent for Americans. Janesh Chagagas, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.